Hi everyone, this is Mike89. Welcome to the ninth video in my Sonic 3 and Knuckles tutorial series. Uh, this video is going to cover Sandopolis, so let's get started. Uh, this stage starts off with probably the most difficult trick in the entire run. So what we're going to do to start off with, uh, we're going to land right near this enemy uh, in order to juke it into throwing its head at you. And what we're going to do is, as soon as we land, jump off, jump onto where it is, and do a super glide just as you land on it off its head and start gliding up that way. Uh, you can do this either whether it stays in place or whether it turns around. You just have to move to a different spot. So, super glide off its head. Uh, start swinging around to the right so that you grab this wall. Alright, and now you really only have two chances at this trick the way that it's shown here. Because what we now need to do is super glide off one of these boxes. And obviously if the boxes no longer exist we can't do that anymore. And what we're going to do is we're going to just hang around here for a little while and we're going to start gliding un uh, so we start going underneath this corner until we get basically in line with the left edge of this loop. The objective is to have Knuckles' uh, glove here be past this line, but nothing else. And what I do is I pause on trying to hit this frame, hold down, and then unpause, and then unpause and charge a spin dash, and then pause again. So, pause, hold down while unpaused, unpause, A, pause again. Then switch to holding right, and ideally you should get shot out like that. Now, there's a three frame window to let go of right here, to have the level wrap activate. However, based on what you've done up to that point, that window is not in a consistent place. But this frame here, actually I think it's the next one. Yeah, I think that's where I actually pause. So you can see this the, the platform right in the middle of the of the screen, of the bottom of the screen, and you can see the two item boxes. Uh, that's the most consistent one as far as I'm concerned. But again, it doesn't always work. So you want to try and pause around here and then let go of right when you when you unpause. And what should happen is you go through the wall like that and level wrap. And then all that's left to do is the boss. Uh, you can. There is actually another way to get the level wrap uh, that HDL devised. I recommend looking at his videos if you uh, are interested in that. Uh, personally, if I miss it with both of those boxes, I just play the stage normally. Uh, the only thing I'll say about this boss is that uh, when it first appears, make sure that you stand quite close to it. So if you're standing over here, um, the boss actually won't stand up. It'll just stay in that crouched position for as long as it takes you to move over to it. Uh, once it's standing up, it doesn't matter. You can move as far left as you want. Uh, so we're going to wait for it to jump five times. And after that, we're going to intentionally take a hit while it jumps the sixth time and then knock it into the pit. So here's five. Wait for two and a half seconds. Then get hit. Jump back out. Hit it from the left hand... Uh, hit it from the right hand side like that. Jumping in. So that you rebound out this way and it rebounds into the pit. Uh, so the time I got there is 1.15. Uh... I know I said in Angel Island not to worry about manipulating the time objects in Act 2, but in this stage it really does matter. Because at the start of Act 2, you ha um, with Sonic and Tails it doesn't matter, but with Knuckles the ghosts are out. So, because I got a 115 there, this uh, platform here is at the lowest point in its cycle. So, as a rule of thumb, 
about 114 to 115 is a good time and then every six seconds after that this uh, this platform moves up and down on about a six second cycle so if you were to get let's say 118 I would actually recommend waiting for the two seconds uh, while the and the way I do that is uh, just before the signpost stops spinning you want to jump and just hold a glide uh, and just let it slowly drift down to the ground for a couple of seconds. Uh, anyway, so starting Act 2, you want to clear this and then make a mad dash for this light switch here. Grab onto it, turn the lights off, the ghosts go away. So we don't have to worry about them anymore. Uh, and then let's see, just see the line that this uh, object in the background makes you want to line up the door with that and that's when you can that's when you can jump and glide so that you land on top of the door like that and just run off uh, as soon as you land on the capsule spin dash to the right duck down here to screen wrap as soon as the screen uh, screen scrolls all the way down jump and then spin dash immediately when you land. Get you past a whole bunch of different things. Uh, so jump over to here. Now spin dash and jump from the flat part of the slide. Uh, there's actually a wall about here behind this top slide that you can grab. So climb up that and it puts you on the slide. Uh, jump over the other side of this door. That's a three tap spin dash. Three taps gives you exactly that much height, which gets you perfectly up there. Um, now, the next bit, you need to make sure that you jump from the left hand side of this rock here and do an absolutely full jump. And then what you're going to do is we're going to jump, fall down here while holding left the whole way down. So. Uh, I need to make sure that that platform's not in the way, so I'm going to wait for it. Hold left all the way down, and you should just pass straight through that piece of the floor. Then you end up in a kind of sandfall thing up there, so you've got to jump immediately to drop down. Uh, spin dash over here. You can actually you can grab that light switch if you want, but in that case it wasn't necessary. So spin dash out this way. Uh, it's just a one tap spin dash and then you want to slow down around here as you're moving off this platform because what we don't want to happen is to touch this sandfall at all. Because if we do then when we drop off here it's possible that we fall through this door and have to um, screen wrap our way back past it again. But the idea is that you land on the door jump and glide immediately into that enemy to kill it. Like that. Uh, just gotta run through here. Uh, now this is new. This this one is actually quite new and Sonic can do this as well but Tails can't. So what we're gonna do with, uh, with Knuckles here is similar to the stair clips in Lava Reef, if you jump at just the right height and ideally you want to be jumping from about so draw an imaginary line from the middle of the um, the middle of the spikes the end of the spikes. So you want to be jumping from about here and it's only a very short jump. You only hold the jump for about four frames. So it's not a tap jump but it's slightly longer than that. Not by very much. And what's supposed to happen and you'll see it happen a little bit later is you pass through the stair and then just drop into the wall. Uh, now, it takes me a few goes to get it in this run, but if you don't get it the first time, I recommend hitting the light switch because pretty soon you're going to need to do another screen wrap and you can't do that if the ghosts are attacking you. So, we'll have a few more goes at it. Uh, if you time it right, you can actually get two attempts at the spin dash per cycle of the spike block. And there it is there, okay. So, as soon as you land inside the wall, kind of do a 
mid height jump and then glide and you should hear knuckles attached to a wall like that uh, as soon as you as soon as you hear that hold down and you'll drop off the wall and then you hold left and you'll appear down here then immediately screen wrap as soon as you see you see that the screen scrolls very quickly when you're jumping and then when you land it slows down again so as soon as you see it slow down you know it's okay to jump so jump full jump when you um, see the screen start to scroll slowly and then when the screen settles on you again uh, then immediately glide but don't go earlier than that because um, what can actually happen is you grab onto a wall that's not there and you drop down to where the speed shoes are below you and then you just want to do a spin dash from here jump over to a um, there's a it's you can't see it obviously but there's like a little uh, step you've got to jump over so you jump over it and then you hold left and you go flying out to the right like that uh, once you come out here you've actually got two reasonable options you can go left or you can go right I've chosen to go left here it doesn't really make a massive difference either way um, obviously I would have preferred not to hit the corner of that platform but it doesn't actually make any difference because I gotta wait for this to come down anyway so jump over that Uh, make your way through here. That that jump and glide there actually saves quite a bit of time waiting for that you'd otherwise spend waiting for it to just fall down. Um, now we're going to set up a spin dash from here. Now if you do a glide you can spin dash from wherever you like. Uh, you want to be as close to the to the loop as possible so kind of here works nice. Uh, this spin dash needs to be really fast, so I recommend if you do the overhand method like I do, uh, most spin dashes you'll only sweep twice. This is one of the ones I recommend sweeping three times, just to make sure that you have as close as possible to maximum speed, because you really need all of it to get up here. Um, even if you don't make it all the way up to this platform, you can sometimes land on this instead and be okay. Um, so from here, uh, spin dashing here is actually a mistake, what you should do is jump and glide over here and that ensures that you'll actually uh, get caught by the spring because sometimes that will happen if you spin dash. Uh, now that just leaves the boss. So what you so what you ideally want to happen in this boss fight, so we're going to wait for the arm to come out and then jump into the armor, bounce away and then glide back towards it. And what you want to happen, ideal, is this. So instead of uh, bouncing away when you get this glide, if you're a bit higher than the boss, what will happen is you start gliding here against an invisible wall. And then when you start dipping down into Eggrobo's hitbox. You just drop all, you just drop into his hitbox with no bounce at all, and so then you can jump, continually jump and get uh, four hits a cycle. So one, two, three, four, and then you try and you try and do the same thing again. Uh, that time I missed it, so I uh, bounced away instead like that, and I was only able to get three. So you can see how much more useful it is the first time. And that time I actually did a super glide off the armor, so I went up way too high, but I couldn't let go of the glide because I was going to get hit if I did, obviously. And that's Sandopolis. Alright, so time to go back and show that stage again without any interruptions. <laughs> 